like this. Hey, hello, beautiful people. <laughs> hello, people on the internet. <laughs> I have to admit, that was a very good ending last week. I watched it a couple of times. Because I was like, hello, good people of the internet. No, and we were like, bye, good people of the internet. And then my mum went, from mum. <laughs> <laughs> and I was watching it a couple of times when I was editing the back end of the video. And I'm like, oh, this is so funny. Because I wasn't going to delete it out. I kept it in. I thought it was hilarious. So... Hi, good people of the internet. This is live. No. So I just want you to know that I am not editing any of this video. It's literally just streaming live. And yeah, so everything is unedited. It's live. So if you ever want to join us, we come on at around about, I don't know, 11.30, 12 o'clock um, mountain time. I don't know, what time is it in the UK, Mum? It's quarter to seven in the evening. Because our clocks just went back like yours now. That happened last night. So now our clocks have changed. So we should be like the same now. So this is a podcast where we talk about, I don't know, sewing, quilting, DIY, whatever we want to talk about, to be honest. This is all to do about getting to know me and because you don't really get to know me in a 10 minute sewing tutorial. So this is me. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just been recently uploading some fabric. See, I just did something weird then. I've just been uploading some fabric scrap like tutorials how are you enjoying them mom i really i like them you give me so much inspiration as honestly it's like it's made me come alive again with like sewing and that it's really so yeah. like i just i had to release this one yesterday i don't normally release tutorials on saturdays but i was thinking if i just released this tutorial on know, wednesday and then you know? had to like a whole week what was that What'd you say, Mum? You've been... Is it a connection? I think it's because I keep wafting this about and any time I move anything really quickly, it ends up going really slow. So um, uh, I decided to release a um, uh, the fabric scrap rope thing. What is it called? Fabric scrap twine. Fine. So I released this out this on Saturday because I didn't want you guys to be like have a tutorial on the Wednesday and have to wait a whole week to figure out what you're doing with this. <laughs> so that is what I released on Saturday. <laughs> so when it comes to Wednesday, we are actually going to do a tutorial of it. Wow, right. But you made a necklace, you made the thing for your necklace, didn't you, that... Um... I did, it looked really cool, hey? It did, yeah. It looked really good. It does. How did you attach it to the back, at the back? I actually just did it, I just tied a knot at the back. That's all I did. But I think you can go to, like, a craft store and they sell, like, things on the ends of, of this, don't they? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. they like they clasp the ends, and then you can get it where it all attached like a, a normal necklace. So if you wanted to actually make it into an actual necklace, then you have to get the um, the fixture, the hardware, or whatever you want to call them, in order to make this a proper necklace. Or you could just tie it at the back. You don't need to spend too much money. But Earl was having a whale of the time because I actually had this dangling on the floor when I was taking it to the bedroom because I hadn't completed it all. <laughs> and I was like dangling. He was like, Mum, this is the perfect cat toy. <laughs> <laughs> it would be one of those, it would though, wouldn't it as well? It would make one of those on the stick, wouldn't it? One of them things. 
It does, but I think what I would do, because I don't like any of... You know what I'm like? When my mum comes to my house and she's sewing downstairs, I'm very funny about having any, like, string on the carpet because I'm worried, like, about eating it or whatever. So it's, it's very... It's got frays all over it. So I think what you'd probably have to do to stop it from fraying, like I said on my video, you would have to, like, cut it with the, the pinking shears to stop it from fraying and then yeah. twist it. I think it would look neater, but I don't know. I kind of like, I like that frayed look right now for like what I'm going to create for next week's video. But I was pretty surprised that it didn't unravel because I was expecting it to unravel. Weren't you? I don't know, actually. Well, with all the twisting and everything, I suppose it isn't. I suppose it's the way that we, the ways that you twist it as well. You know, when, when you twist it a certain way. Exactly, because like you have to twist the twine one one direction and then you're folding it over the different direction. And I think like because of the two different forces going one way and one going the other way, it's probably helping to create a tighter knot, isn't it really, when you think about yeah. it with the tension? Yeah. Hey, Lisa. I... Oh, hello, Lisa. That You're like lovely. who? You're like who? <laughs> oh, yeah. She's she's hello from Canada. Hi Lisa from Canada. I'm in Edmonton, Alberta, and my mum's in the, in the UK. I'm all the way in the UK. Far away. No, because I I do you remember when I used to work in the rock factory? Mm hmm And do you know when you um you wrap the rock you got you just it's when you wrap it it's the same sort of system you sort of like hold it at one end and then you twist it that way and you do it the other way when you do the other way it's the same sort of like principle really do you mean when you're doing that in the house <laughs> oh, <hi there. laughs> oh, how are you getting on with you with your Quilting, have you started another one or what are you doing? So I was pretty surprised. It's funny because I was, I was filming my video and I was like, Matt, you wrap this, you wrap this. Like, I, and you hold it because when you're starting it up at one end and then you try to, you have to hold on to it for a little bit. So it's a little bit finicky at the beginning. And then, yeah. and then I was like, like Oh, and when you let go of it, it's going to stay. And, like, I, I hadn't filmed it. <laughs> I'm like, just you watch it, it's going to let go. I'm like, oh, it's stayed. <laughs> <laughs> That's generally how I, I do my YouTube videos, by the way. It's like, literally, I'm filming it as I'm doing it. And it's like, I've had no practice run. It's like, that's it, I'm going with it. <laughs> I used to do my videos like way back when, like when I was like, if you ever go back and watch my very, very first video, um, <clears throat> you'll notice that I never used to like talking because I hated the sound of my own voice. Like, you know, like when you came on yeah. and watched the podcast, you didn't like the sound of your own voice, did you? But you kind of get used to it like over time when you're like watching the podcast back. And so, yeah, and then, and then I got into this point where I was just like, I was scripted, so I'd literally write everything down and I'd say a little bit, stop the camera, say another little bit. But the thing is, is that if you if you're scripting yourself, it's like it's hard work. It's hard work because then you're like, oh, I forgot this word and I forgot that word, and it's like it takes you like all like it takes two days to film like one video. So it's like, yeah, what I ain't got time. Does Lisa for that. do? It's... What do you do, Lisa? What do you like quilts? Do you make projects? <laughs> no. We're very nosy in this house. <clears throat> oh no, mum's gone. Let's see if we can get her back. There you go, she's coming. What did you do, Mom?
Your internet went down. She's still down. I don't know. There's something going on with your internet. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Can you hear you now? You not see me. The is not watching the internet because he is going to get shot at. Anyway, so let me just change the view here because I want to explain some stuff. Remember last week when I showed, did I, did I do the painting last week? Remember when I said I was going to do a seaside thing? Did I show, did I do the painting? Did I show people that or not? I don't, I can't, I don't think so, no. I can't remember. I can't yeah. remember. I don't know. I do not I can't remember. The whole week has gone by and we can't remember anything. That's so bad. Anyway, I'm going to change the, change the video. There we go. <laughs> your, your drawing and everything's got so much better. I can't believe it. <laughs> anyway, so this is my drawing of a little seaside town, just made up. And I pulled off my inspiration from the internet. And it's not any one picture, actually. I, I looked at a couple of pictures and I decided, you know, to merge different things into different pictures and make up my own thing. Because a seagull is actually a seagull that I picked up off the internet on his own. And like the houses, yeah, it's, it's all different pictures. So this is the picture I did, and I used them um, watercolour pencils that you can use for fabric as well as for on, on paper. So it's really impressive. I love that. And then from there, I made, I made, it's look, I love it. How cool is that, guys? I'm so impressed with myself. I've shown it to some of my friends and that, and they think it's absolutely, they, they love it. Especially the bow, oh, they said the bow thank was, you. The bow was uh, they said the bow was, like, beautiful. Sure, the bow was super easy. And I'll tell you what I did with it. Um, so Lisa says that she's a quilter, she's on her fourth now. Um... But she still thinks of herself as a newbie. I tell you what, if you're on your fourth quill, I am not going to call you a newbie. No. Because I think that's... You, you're, more, you're more or less an intermediate now. Um, and she says, oh, that's cute. I draw stick figures. And even that is bad. Believe me. Believe me, right? I was not a good drawer. Was I, Mum? No, no. Kathy's <laughs> <laughs> drawing has come on such a, a really long... It's, Honestly, and I think the more that you practice and everything, and you know, you've done that, you did that course, didn't you? Online. Well, I'm doing some courses right now on drawing, and it's uh, it's helping me immensely, like for like perspective and like all sorts of different things. I know I don't like drawing realism, like we all know I don't like drawing realism, and you know, just to put Google eyes on this on. The <laughs> on the seagull but he was but it was not a google eye moment <laughs> <laughs> so let me just show you the bow so this is the bow I, the bow just I, I it just reminds me of a um a, a dragonfly maybe that's how you should have done your bow it. for your that's how you should have done your wings mum for um you, you burn. I don't know. I think it would. That would have been. I think it would have been too heavy. Actually, I think. I should oh, show I you did. my cushion. I want to see your cushion. I want to see your cushion. Okay, I'm going to read some stuff out while I'm waiting. Um, so Roberta said that she's into hand piecing today. I finished quilting two baby quilts yesterday, but. Um, and we'll put the binding on later today. Maybe I even got my Dior Promenade a Rouge put together for quilting. That sounds very exotic. She got her Dior Promenade on Rouge. Oh, what is that? What is that? 
So is, is, is that on the promenade? I don't know. I'm trying to be like very clever with my own French. <laughs> <laughs> Butterfly on the wall is in the house. And how are Hi. you, my dear? Hiya. Hiya. How are, how are things? You? How are you getting okay now, you holy wings? I hope she's feeling better. Yes, I hope. But all I did with this, all I did with this, Mum, was I took two pieces of fabric, right? And it was literally like one length, like it was like a rectangle. All I did, right, is gathered it up in the middle and made the bow. It wasn't that difficult. And then I just attached it on the back with just a, a safety pin, just in case somebody doesn't like bows. Yeah. And I love how I did yeah. the handles. And you always like how I do my handles. Yeah, I do. I love your handles. I really, really do. I, I wish I could do them like you do. Oh, well. I didn't do any pockets inside the bag, I'll be honest with you. I just did a, I just did a regular oh, bag. Goodness. It's nice. It's <laughs> lovely and bright. It's beautiful. Well, the one thing that I wish I had done, and I don't know why I didn't do it, is basically used my coloured pens for the sea and the sky. Like, like, what was I even thinking? I don't know why I used this fabric. Because you're using up your scraps. <laughs> yeah, I was using up some fabric scraps. Yeah. But I don't know, both, both you and Neil said it looks really stormy there. Yeah, it does look a bit weird. You know, thingy, but it doesn't matter. You can always know. <laughs> you know the thing is, though, it, it doesn't. It doesn't matter, does it? It's water. It, you know, it, that's the effect of water, isn't it? You know, it's a bit slushy today. <laughs> but you can always do another one with another water scene with the the, the you know the um. So Roberta said that um, uh, one second here. <laughs> That's the name of the quilt. It's all applique. Not doing that one again. What's some of applique? Do you know I love applique. I'm, I'm getting into that and stuff. I didn't. I never would a million years think I would have done something like that. I mean, I know that quite it's quite big and everything, but I don't know. I mean, you do like very tiny minute things. You know, when you put legs on and the beak and things like that, it's dead tiny. <laughs> his little legs, look at his little legs. It looks like he's got boots on. <laughs> oh. And I did try to do um, Joe the candy wrappers on the windows. No, that didn't go so well. Oh, did it not? No. Oh, it did not work out, so it actually got taken off and like re yeah, I had to redo it a little bit. Oh. Um Butterfly on the wall, um don't you do quilting? Butterfly on the wall is she garments. Do you know what? I keep on asking the same question, I'm sure. I know. <laughs> I think we, it's because we're so busy during the week and everything, we forget, just forget things, don't you? You know what I mean? You know, so she says, so nice to see you. She says, so nice to see you. I'm really doing better. I started driving on Friday, so so freeing. Aww. Well, it's good to hear Aww. that you're feeling better. Yes, it is. I'm so glad. I'm really glad. She's, asking how, I'm, she's asking how we're feeling this week. Oh, fantastic. I'm good, thank you very much. And I'm good, thank you. And she's saying a beautiful bag, thank you. It is, it's so bright and everything, it's lovely. Doral. She's saying that she's, um, uh, she's feeling much better and she says, my wing is progressively, progressing nicely. Oh, It's, I've... And then she says, yes, yes, she does garments. I'm going to start quilting up. 
at the first of the year. Oh, bless her. Yay, new quarter. <clears throat> and she says, um, Rebecca says that she loves Apple K2. I was actually going to do needle turn, but there were too many pieces. Do you know what needle turn is, Mom? Oh, she keeps freezing on me. Let me see if I turn one of these devices off. How are you, Mum? I'm okay. He keeps going off. I'm really, I, I can't do anything about it. He's going off. It's fine. Are you fully charged? It's, we got really bad rain here. And it's very windy. Just, it's fine. Don't worry about it. So I think needle turn, correct me if I'm wrong, Roberta. Do you know what? I'm going to change the camera. <clears throat> So you can see my face. So needle turn is basically when you turn the, is it like when you turn the um, raw edges out and then you will applicate around the actual piece. Is that correct, Roberta? So my mum's going to have internet issues, so I am just going to keep going. Because that's what we do when things go wrong. It's when you actually do everything by hand. I use the machine to put it together. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I do anything by hand. That's going to take a long time. Let me talk about some of my stuff again while my mum tries to figure out how to get back on. Okay. So when I did this bag, I did the applique for these houses and all these different colours. And then I decided to do the uh, windows out of the thread painting. I love the thread painting. And I wanted to do all these different styles of windows. So like not everybody has the same windows. Nobody has the same windows, do they? Let's face it. And here's the sky. So can you see the sky here? And the clouds. Hey, mommy, you doing okay? And then I did these aerials. I'm not quite sure if everybody in Canada or America has aerials. I mean, this is kind of old fashioned now because most people have yeah, satellites I don't and stuff. And... What was that, Mum? I'm going to see if we can change rooms, I think. I might go in, I'll try downstairs. It might be something to do. Okay. Well, let's be honest, this is live video and this is what happens during lives. So sometimes we have technical issues and we're just going to carry on. Bye. And then I did my little railings. Look at the railings. <laughs> so, and this was a whole process as well, because when you do an applique, you actually have to think about what goes where on your actual project. So because the boat is actually closer to us, we've got to be careful like where we place our other stuff on our applique. I mean, I've done, when I first started doing this, this is one, like, one of the booking mistakes and stuff, but you've always got to think of like, what is like the closest to you. Obviously the seagull is like the most closest to us and then the boat and then the actual houses i do i love this i'm so in love with this and then because the applique on the bag um uh, there was like you know 
some of the um, cuts and that weren't quite straight, I framed it with the ribbon. And I think it looks so cool. And then my mum did say, don't put a ribbon on, do something like themed for the bag. Hey, mum. <coughs> <laughs> I know, look at it as well. I was so wrong. I, was, I thought if you could like, do something with like um, an anchor or something, you know, but that's lovely. It just... I am actually thinking about doing that because I was on um, Pinterest the other day and I was looking at um, like anchors and like, what are them, like the rings are they, called? Are they called boys? Something? I, I, I don't know. I don't think they're called boys. I think they're called life. Oh, life. Are they life? Exactly. Life rings? Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. I know, I know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Them like red and white things. What are they yeah. called? It's like a donut, isn't it? <laughs> it's like charades with, with <laughs> mum yeah. and me. There's yeah. the, the, the circular things at the seaside. And if somebody needs one, you throw them out. They're called life something or other. <laughs> life raft. I don't know. I don't know what they're called. I know what you mean, though. I don't think they're going to be called a life raft. <laughs> it's not a raft. It's like a ring thing. Oh. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a donut, isn't it? <laughs> A life-saving donut. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So butterfly and oh, I'm getting encroaching to other people's conversations now. Do you want to hear? So butterfly on the wall is asking Roberta. I tried to hand sew some at quilt blocks many years ago. My friend was doing it and I thought I can do that. No, no blocks fit together. I was Crazy frustrated, it's quite a skill. I know why that probably happened because I remember when I first started um, quilting and I had this book and if you've got different blocks, like um, say like you've got like half square triangles and you've got quarter square triangles and you've got full squares, I think sometimes they don't actually um, tell you what the finished size of the piece is. And when you're new to quilting, you don't exactly know how to cut the blocks to match up with a square. Because when you make like half square blocks in quilting, you obviously have to make them bigger than the end square because you're losing the seam allowance. And when yeah. you're first starting, you don't realise that because you're like... I have to do what and why is this bigger than this and why is that small like I'm not quite understanding and then you think you're better than the instructions so you do everything all wrong and in the end you end up with like nothing matches I know exactly what you've done but I the wall and it's probably because you didn't like maybe the pattern wasn't very clear I know exactly what she's done because I've been there I know I hate patterns they're, they're horrible they're not very very clear to follow they're, they're horrible the way that they do the instructions, it's ridiculous. They've probably, they've, they've probably not told them to add on the, the part where you the sew allowance. Allowance. The yeah. Allowance. Yeah. yeah. I totally know what's going on there. Right, I, I don't know, I finished the actual cushion. Once I, um, I st got into it, I couldn't stop and I finished it and it was brilliant. I can't. I'll show you what my cushion looks like now. Oh, oh. Can you see it? Okay, you need to like go a little bit closer. Like, and no, you know, you need to go, oh, you're zooming in. Okay, I see what you're doing. Just hold it still. Just I did that a little zip as well. I'm going to change the camera as well. Okay. So just turn it round again so everybody can see. That's so cute, Mom. Hello. 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 H
it. I'm really pleased with it. I'm so pleased with it. <laughs> I was that pleased with it. I started another one. <laughs> no. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, yes, you did. You got to show this. <laughs> from Google Eyes, that's not fair. eyelashes that's why i just said you went up a level on the um, google eyes by putting the eyelashes on oh my gosh where did you find the eyelashes i just went to one of the the you know it's like a it's like a pound store you know the dollar store yeah yeah from one of those over the road over that uh, deep down are the actual real eyelashes that people put on their face yeah, yeah. oh really <laughs> we look perfectly as well on the eyes, on the Google eyes. <laughs> they went on straight away. I couldn't believe it. I thought if I tried putting them, if I tried putting them on myself, they wouldn't have gone that well. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Chilla's always like been like, I've, I don't know how they do that. Like and put glue right near the eye. Like I, there's no way I would even do that. No, trust me, they probably have a super glue on the bloody thing and I wouldn't be able to get them off again. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do that. Do you remember when I used to like, bite my nails like really bad? And I used to get, like when I was like younger, and I used to get the false nails. And I, instead of like sticking them on with the actual glue that comes with the nail kit, because the glue never actually works, I did used to put it on with like super glue. Oh, you didn't? Yes, I did. Cause I was so sick of my things like off. falling off and that. Could you imagine if one of them like pulled off and pulled my nail off or something? Oh no, you <laughs> crazy child, honestly. <laughs> Why? What? <laughs> Why did I have a well, the things that you used to do was like absolutely nuts when you did your hair blonde that time? Oh my! I know. And let's not talk about that, please. <laughs> <laughs> That is my young days, and nobody needs to know about that on this. <laughs> oh my god! So, uh, butterfly on the wall says that's so funny. Great idea. <laughs> <laughs> and then Roberta says that she makes templates from plastic and mark it on the back of the fabric. When I cut the fabric, I add the quarter of an inch. See, everybody does their own things, their own unique things, which is really good. Because I've been thinking about buying some like plastic as well, um, for like quilting and stuff. Yeah. What do you mean? How, how do you work? I, I don't understand that one. How do you do? What's that for? Um, I think she uses the plastic for the block. So she knows how big a block should be and she'll put it like she's I think she's probably visual like we are where well, you've literally got to see because it's funny because I'm working on a secret project right now and I can't just write the instructions I literally have to physically do them as I'm going through like I can't yeah I've got to like do it all um Roberta says, back in the early days of quilting, they used to have cardboard templates and marked each each size. I'm wasting time and money by always making new templates. It's good. <laughs> Butterfly on the wall says, now we must see blonde Cassie. <laughs> The thing with the 
blonde, though, is that I think somebody, like, one of my very old boyfriends wanted to see, like, me with blonde hair, and I, like, did the blonde. Have I lost my mum again? It looks like I have. Oh, this poor live. This poor live. Let's see if she comes back. Yeah, I think she does. She just make it a quarter of an inch bigger than the template. She's gone off, she's going to come back on again. I never know what to talk about after she's gone off. It spoils the flow. My poor mom. I hope it's not my internet connection. I hope it's hers. <laughs> Blame my mum. <laughs> Can you see the um, the bunting in the backgrounds there? That's one of the um, videos I did just recently, making a bunting out of the scrap fabrics. I think it looks really cute. Maybe I should have some backup chat so my mum gets forced off the internet again. I've got something to talk about again. Ah. So this, this is so boring when it's just me. I need my mum on as well. There you go, she's back. Hi, Mum. <laughs> my mum's, you're going to see all the rooms of my mum's house as she moves about the house. We <laughs> know. Are you back? Has it brought you back or has it locked you again? There you go. I think you're going to have to keep talking, Mum, because I can't tell whether you're on or not. Now she's frozen again. It doesn't like you, does it? Well, at least my subscribers are having a good chat amongst themselves. I don't know how successful this stream's going to be. We're going to give her one more try. No. <laughs> It's really, I, I don't know what it's like now, but it's been really windy and raining. I don't know if it's, that's anything to do with it. I don't know. I don't know. Or I don't know whether, like, maybe Neil's on the internet. I don't, he, he, he gets told not to be on the internet, so I'm hoping he isn't on the internet. Bye. I'm just saying that, like, Butterfly and the Wall and Roberto are helping each other out right now, anyway. Oh, right, okay. forwards. So what else do you put on your cushion, Mum? Um, Have you done your fire? Have you done your fire? Which one? The new one? The fire no, place with the tiles. No. I couldn't um, do the blade. I can't get, I took the other one off, but I, I struggled to, to put the other one back on again. I don't know why. I don't know what was what was that's all about, but I can't seem to put it on. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. I don't, it's weird. So it's, it's just like that. I put the eyelashes on. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it. I love it. <laughs> so we're giggling as we're doing it. 
that was a bit, yeah, I thought, oh my God, I can't, I don't, I can't believe I'm doing this. But I thought, no, I'm going to do it, yeah. Because that's the same thing as I do, like when I was making the, like, this the seagull, I'm like giggling as I'm making it. <laughs> yeah, it was quite good fun, it's nice, isn't it? I mean, I did most of that today, within about an hour and a half, I think it was, before... That came on with you but I, I just love the way I love the way that you do those center zips I, I love it have you, you seen have you seen how it how it looks on that zip, on that cushion I know I know it's really flush and it's tidy and it's nice yeah I don't understand why people put them at the top or at the bottom or whatever yeah yeah I just don't understand it. It just looks so neat and everything, and it looks neat in the side. And you can put the cushion in properly as well, without like you know, like struggling to get inside the thing. I know, I know. I do. I love how I do my own cushions. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> So Butterfly on the Walls is back in the day, Mum and I would be adding foil to the um, to the antenna. Bunny ears. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what else should we talk about? The internet has like spoiled my jive. I know it has, hasn't it? Internet. <laughs> <laughs> so, what should we talk about? What else should we talk about? So, what are you, you going to do next then? Are you going to do another seaside um, um, thing? Or are you going to do some? Are you, do you want to do? Are you doing something else? Well, I like the idea because you've been sending me pictures of like windows like up close windows yeah. and stuff yeah i really I like them. I was to, like start making a story out of some of these like like this is the seaside town and then we're close up on one of the other houses and like do something like you know keep it within the same town and like make a story out of it because i really want to do a whole seagull you know what i'm like so i want to do a seagull pouch And yeah, I don't know. Do some other things. Are you frozen again? I like I like them. Um, I love the window things. And you know, I really, I just you know, it's like they, they show you that like, things like through the window, or they like the window and like all the little boxes. I like it where you're like looking at the window, like so you look at the window with the window box and the flowers and stuff. I like that. And I also, yeah, I like the thing where you're like looking out of the window so you can actually see a scene kind of thing. Yeah, you could really elaborate on like loads of different things. You froze again, haven't you? She's frozen again. The whole seaside town would make a nice quilt. I know, but I don't want to do like quilts all the time. That's the thing. You keep if you do like quilts and quilts and quilts all the time, then you got all these quilts with nothing to do with them. Whereas if you like do bags or pouches and stuff, you've always got room for another bag or another pouch, haven't you? But it's like doing quilts all the time. I know, I know. Oh, I've got a new person, Susan Berger, and she's from South Africa. She says she's a newbie at quilting. Hi, Susan. Oh, hi, Susan. Oh, hi. Hello, hello. Yeah, hello. I'm not having a very good life today. See, he doesn't like my mum. It's my mum. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, Roberto. Oh, you, you, oh they both agree. A seaside town quill. I think uh, that one of them, that one of those windows would be. I, I think that would look. I look. I just when I saw them windows, the painting of them windows, I just thought, oh my god, that 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 was you. You know what I mean? I know. And do you know what? I'm gonna like incorporate the paints this next time. I might just do the paints and the thread paints and not do the applique. See how that looks. All right. Okay. It's nice just to play about, I guess. <clears throat> See, that's another thing, book sleeves. Do you know where you put a sleeve over the book? Like you've got a book and you put a sleeve over it. Right, yeah, yeah. That would be good as well, wouldn't it? And then you oh, can do the all different applications for different size books. Because everybody's into bullet journaling now, apart from you, but anyway. <laughs> Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. You could always do that, the window or something like that on them as well, couldn't you? It doesn't matter what size it is, does it? Even that like scene. Yeah, size. I wouldn't be able to have done the one that I did, though, because that's too big of a scene. But if it's like the window would be a perfect one. Yeah, or the seagull or the boat and maybe like mm -hmm. something else in the background. Mm -hmm. Everybody's introducing themselves now. So yeah, I have such a nice community. I love my community. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Roberta says, can you show us how to thread paint? Should I do that live? Yeah. I've done that live before now. We'll do it again. <laughs> See, my mum, whenever my mum tells me I've got to do something, I've got to do it. Because my mum's telling me I've got to do it. <laughs> well, do one of the book, the book covers and do one of those and do it on that. That's a good idea because I think that's really easy. To do for, you could add it, you can use it for one of your Wednesday things as well. Yeah. So, Roberta, do you want me to do Fred painting live and put me on the spot? Or do you want me to do Fred painting as a Wednesday tutorial? <laughs> <laughs> and I can go at my own pace. This <laughs> is so the good thing about doing it live is that people can actually ask questions. Oh, Jodie from California. Hi, hi, Jodie from California. Hi, Jodie. I wish I was in California right now, where it's like warm and nice. Like it's getting to be like. Like the, the snow, well, I don't think it looks too bad out there. I mean, I'm, it's not as warm as like what I'm making it look like with this silly little top on. <laughs> it's cold. It's very dark here. Look, this is outside. Oh man. It's wet and damp. It's horrible. Wet well, and damp. Blue skies right now. Wet and dark. Sorry. See, see, like Roberta is going. Roberta says live. Butterfly on the wall says live. <laughs> Do you want me to fed paint live, Mum? It's always like that there in Canada. It's beautiful. It's even when it's like. She's lacking now. It's booted her again. Are you there, Mum? No, it's booted her again. I apologise if you are just like seeing it, my lives this is not normally like this i don't know why my mum keeps getting booted off the lives she doesn't normally get booted off them but just bear with us she'll be back she'll be back
give a few moments to come back. This is almost reminding me of like the the live that I did way back when when it messed up. Hi mom. Hello. <laughs> Hello again. Do you remember that? Do you remember when we so first used Zoom? Doing, yeah, doing this tonight. I don't know about you. It is me as well. Um, do you not remember it's the very, awesome. very first time that we went on live? And it kept messing up and both me and you felt like crying, but look at us now. Are you, are you frozen? No, I'm not frozen. You're frozen. So Butterfly on the Wall says, oh, so what about doing a rap? A rap? Of, what do you mean a rap? <clears throat> Let me know what you mean. I'm trying to think. I have a 20 second delay from the answers. Thirsty today. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How many times do you want to go away and come back again? <laughs> I keep talking up. <laughs> Just keep like popping up, don't I? Go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Oh, you want me to do like a shawl or a garment? Oh, wow. Okay, no, that wouldn't be too bad. Roberta says she's not a garment sewer, but she would love to do a simple project to get started. What do you reckon, Mum, about doing a shawl? That shouldn't be too hard. It's just like one piece of fabric with a hem. A shawl? Yeah. I'd have to do something to it to make it a I bit more jazzed it. up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Google eye something and put it on the shawl. <laughs> on your back. <laughs> I've got my eyes on you. I could do a Halloween one. Could you like a black shawl and have like weird Google eyes on the back of it to make it look like there's oh, like yeah, yeah. people like oh, that's good, yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and Bush Fine was said, yes, you can make a beautiful interest. No, but Mum, I really think you'd be really good at, at doing like a really kind of cool looking shawl. Because you'd be like for the embellishments though. Like you could do some really cool embellishments, like flowers and stuff, on the show. Yes, yeah. Or but not like weird looking things, like really nice looking things. I've got something in my head that would look really cool. Or you could do, I'm, I'm just, I can, can you tell my brain's ticking now, I get really giddy and excited. <laughs> I was actually looking at my book the other day, well, this morning, that's smocking. Yeah. Is it smocking? God, I, I used to do that years ago. Yeah. Got my book here. <clears throat> I, I've not done that. It was right years. here. Was... I used to enjoy doing that. Did you do it with all the little, like, because you've got to, like, draw little, you've got to the do, dots, like, dots. dots yeah. And then you joined, did you do that? I used to do, I did it, I, I got taught at school actually. I did it at school. I'm trying to find it. I literally had it like, um, cause I was thinking of smocking and there was something else that you could do.
Here we go. It's around here somewhere. I've come to like ruffles. Smacking. Yeah, because it looks really neat, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I don't want to get done for copyright though by showing it. So I'm not going to show it. There's smacking and there's something called shirving. Oh, no, where it's kind one. of like the ruffly again. I think shirring is done with some sort of like elastic in the bobbin. That would look pretty cool. Either smocking or shirring and doing a whole show like that. See, brain working. <laughs> that's a heck of, Not just a pretty That's a heck of a lot of the work that. It'll, that'll take time, it's all by hand. Roberta would like to do that. She likes to do things by hand. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah, she can make it beautiful and itchy, yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie, I'm running out of things to say. I know what I'm for this so, I know. <laughs> so before she gets cut off again, let's like say goodbye. <laughs> Oh. Okie dokie. Bye. It's nice meeting everybody again. <clears throat> Take care. Bye. So sorry about the stream. It wasn't our faults, promise. <laughs>